Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be showing you an ultimate onion farm in Roblox Islands. Let me just tell you, if you are newer to this game, or you do not have enough money for like a steel or a gearbox farm, trust me, this is going to be your number one go method. So to start off this farm, the first thing you're going to want to do is actually get a 15 by 3 platform. But right after that, we're going to place a conveyor. So this is going to be your number one useful thing to this farm. You're going to want to use a tier 2 crate packer. If you only have a tier 1, I really recommend upgrading into the tier 2 but the tier 1 does work for the moment so after that you're going to actually want to place another conveyor now we're actually working with onions here so we do have to use a washing machine we do have to set the crate packer for a large crate of onions so after that, as you see, I add a washing machine here, and we're going to actually have to extend out, so you can be using any type of block. Then you're going to want to place another conveyor around here, and you're going to actually want to get out two cold totems, because the only way to power this washing machine is using cold totems. So this is where things actually get interesting. You got the basic setup now, now what's next? You want to make sure you destroy these sides so coal does not spawn, and I was actually thinking about this. So you're actually going to want to go up nine blocks. You see this in a lot of different types of farms but we're gonna actually add stairs next all right so you might think okay we're just gonna only have one path go down and no that's not true because we're gonna actually be making the same thing on the other side here and here so it will drop down uh as you can tell so we're gonna go another nine blocks on this way and this way so i actually wanted to make this farm less laggy as pool so for your next step it's actually gonna be looking like this you don't want to go one two blocks up on each side of the stairs now you don't want to replicate this on all sides so once you're done your next step is actually to place glass on top of this so you want to pull out your glass and you're going to want to actually stack this up on top of here so it'll make sure it won't fall out of the funnel so you'll just be copying what i'm doing right here now you can keep the glass on the sides but i would rather have this as it will be less so one thing that i did not stay at the beginning and was to actually go ahead and break this one stair here because what, what we actually need right here is actually another conveyor now of course i need to place this there but it should be looking like this because it's gonna the onions are gonna fall from here fall from there and fall from here onto this conveyor belt and go into there but before that happens we do need to place some glass planes right here so the onions don't fly so as you can see i'm completely trapped in here as the onions will be too so after you finish building the glass layer what you don't want to do is take that first layer and actually stack that on top so you don't actually mess with this funnel system and you're actually gonna want to make a three by three cut open this hole and put two blocks on the side so you're probably wondering what is all this grass doing i mean i know we get to the point of the onion farm but what is happening so you're actually going to want to make a 5 by 11 platform so it should be 55 blocks here and that is including this platform right here now you're going to want to use grass here as we're going to actually plow this here in a second but your next step before that is to actually make the funnel so to make the funnel all you have to do is build this up as many layers as you want so a totem let's just place a totem here so our next level is actually going to be here so every four blocks is a new layer so because we're going to be making two layers in today's video we're going to actually stack this up eight times so again that means you're going to actually place again some grass here so we're going to place all the way again a 4 by 11 platform we can just copy it from the layer below so before we plow this platform we're actually going to want to place our onion totem but before that we do also have to take off these blocks which i've already broken we're going to want to break off that first layer and we actually have to add these conveyors now if you're wondering like oh my gosh the totem should just be able to just like drop onions and that's how it should work the game does not work like that and so basically once you got that complete the other markers you see here are one and two one and two you're gonna not actually want to place any onion tones there but the ratio should be four onion tones for three conveyors for each layer so this is where we get to the point all we have to do is plow this up and actually plant the seeds the method for planting the onion seeds is to actually not fill up all the land as yes it is perfect to add as many seeds as you can to make these totems collect but you also want to leave some room for the onion totems to work with to actually produce faster so if you would like to you can add some side blocks to make it look good and if you do not like the uh brown on the outsides 
but we're actually gonna want to build up one here to our next level and so we're basically gonna repeat the same thing but this is all it is and you can make as many layers as you like on top of here but make sure you're also doing this to the other side so i have actually just finished the farm here now you can stack this up as many layers as you want but that's all i will be showing in today's video now i just realized one huge thing and it's actually that you have to move these cold totems one back so if you just add some blocks to the side here as you see i've actually did uh you can just move those one down and then we're gonna actually just have to place those cold totems one backwards so before I wrap off today's video there, just look how many onions we're having going through here. We already have 112, and honestly, this is the best beginner onion farm in the game, so I hope this helps you out, and make sure to like and subscribe if you can do me that favor, and comment down what video I should upload next. Anyways, I hope you have an amazing rest of your day, and goodbye.